Hello again, welcome to video number 5 about this Ecamm Live video series. If you haven't watched the previous videos, you can check the links below to watch video number 1, 2, 3 and 4 that I explain different things including the scenes, including overlays, including the setup and including different things, especially the camera effects and things like that that you can check and you can see how they work. Check also those videos to make sure you're understanding the whole process when you're producing the first and the, how you can set up your scenes and how you can put together a basic presentation when you are starting to live stream. So check that out and let's continue with this one. Okay, so we are here and before I start, I want just to mention a few things. On the previous videos, I have explained how you can set up the basic presentation, including graphics and how you uh, can start incorporating certain overlays to every single scene. And um, I also teach you the differences, uh, the different overlays that you can encounter on Ecamm Live and how you can use them properly for every particular scene to make to maintain an, a very engaging presentation while you are live streaming. So in this occasion, I want to just talk to you about how you can set up your audio, how you can set up your microphones and how you can start putting audio and some sound effects if you want to uh, on your presentations and also on your different scenes. If you have one microphone or you have multiple microphones and you want to organize them uh, based on the different scenes, you can do that. So I want to uh, start by the sounds levels, the sound levels panel. If you don't find this one right here, when you start Ecamm, you can find it right here. There is a little icon on the main window that you can just press it and it'll show up. You can organize, like I said on video number one, this is just a basic setup I normally do, but normally this thing doesn't appear here. So when you first start Ecamm, it's going to be some other place. So if you want to follow the same structure like this, you can do so. All right, so when you find the main menu for the sound levels, it's going to recognize automatically the microphones that you have attached to your computer. It can be through either HDMI or through USB. There are many ways that you can connect a microphone to your computer. You can use uh, things like this little device right here, the audio that I normally use to record a professional audio. This is the Zoom H6. It's a really nice uh, piece of equipment. And uh, I normally use this to record all my professional audio but you can also incorporate different things. So right now, this one is not connected to the system. So uh, it's not going to be listed here on uh, the different microphones connected to the uh, to uh, the sound levels on Ecamm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to explain how you can start adding different, let's say uh, audio levels or um, audio layers. And uh, when you, to help you understand a little bit how this thing works, you have a list of the things that you have connected or your uh, microphones that you have connected. So you pick the one that you're going to use or the main one you're going to use. So let's say, for example, in this occasion, uh, it is connected to the my computer's microphone. But I, I don't want that one. That sound maybe might not be the good quality that you require. So I'm going to connect it. I have connected uh, my... Uh, right now is this one the Rode wireless go mic and i have connected through my camera so it can record uh very good quality uh, or it can also i can just provide really good quality audio when i'm talking uh, of course the audio that i'm producing right now is through a microphone that i have right here is also a Rode mic and is that mic is connected to my zoom h6 device this mic is also uh, perfect when I'm recording audio, but in this occasion, I just want to show you how yeah, I can connect directly from this mic to Ecamm so I can uh, have this without me using it. So if I connect this piece right now, it is on. So if I turn it off, you can see right here that even though I can pick it and unmute it, nothing is happening right here on the levels. But if I turn it on, immediately start one, two, three, testing one, two, three. So as you can see, the levels right here are now picking 
you can see some levels. So the good thing about this is you can manage, it doesn't matter if it is too loud or not, you can manage your sound levels by moving this little uh, piece right here. And you can see uh, the little numbers. It is telling you how high the sound is from that particular mic or how low it is. So you can control, it doesn't matter if you, uh, the person you are interviewing or uh, the sound that is coming from your microphone, it is too loud, you can control it directly from here. All right, so if you want to connect extra microphones, let's say for example, you want to add this particular mic to, um, let's say to your scenes, the ones that you are talking. So I can do that by just, and you can mute or unmute those microphones. So let's say for example, I want to have this mic unmuted for this particular scene, but when it comes to, uh, let's say the part of the presentation that is showing my presentation and uh, one of the guests, and I already, uh, don't be surprised if you're looking at this and you don't understand what's happening here. That's why I encourage you to watch the previous video uh, videos where I show uh, when I was setting this up. So if you have this presentation right here and you're presenting and everything and you don't want the mic uh, available, I just mute it. So if I go back to come live, the mic is unmuted. But if I come back to my presentation, now the mic is muted. So it's not working. So you can start adding individual mic uh, options to every single scene, which is really good because that way you can control your audio without having to uh, mute or unmute depending on what you really want. So you can set up everything on different scenes. So let's go back to my cam only. Now, if you want to add extra microphones, let's say I have uh, this piece right here, which is a file system and I can connect a levelier mic like I have it right, ne right now. And I want to connect this to my computer. And I want to use this, let's say for uh, someone who is next to me. And uh, I have a second uh, lavalier mic, one that I'm using, and I have another person next to me and I need to, uh, for that person to use this particular mic. So I come here and I add it. So this plus sign, gives you the option to add a second mic. So I come here and I look for it and it gives me the option. Now I have uh, available the mic so I can talk. Sound, sound, testing, testing, testing. And now it's included. I can adjust the levels to it and each mic is independent from the other one. So I can add, uh, let's say for example, I have a guest next to me and I want to mute the other one and leave this one on. And I can do the same thing when I'm on this one and I want to mute this one. So if I come back to this, my microphone is muted. The other person is not. So if I come back to myself, mine is unmuted and the other person is muted. That's how it works. If you want to delete this microphone, you just click the minus button. So it is not longer there. So the good thing about those things is every time you add an extra microphone, you can control not just the audio, but you can control also what kind of scene you want it to show up and uh, the levels, the uh, the whole things that you want to, to do with it. This is another good thing that pretty much nobody explains this to you. When you have a device, a cell phone device, an iOS device, in this occasion, I have my uh, my iPhone. I can use this also as a camera and as an audio device. So I need to connect this to my computer through USB, make sure it is recognizable by the computer. And once it does that, if it doesn't show you, so you reset Ecamm, and then when you start Ecamm again, it's going to show up. So if I want to add that one, I'm going to see it right here so I can use it now as a device. Of course, I'm not using it right now to talk through that, but you can add it and now you can have the option to use that one either as a camera or as an audio device. That's how powerful it is that you can use your iOS device to even 
included as a cam or as an audio device. So play with that and you are gonna find how helpful that is. Now, that being said, I also can include sound effects. Ecamm Live has a panel where I can find different sound effects and you can start also adding um, your own custom sound effects sound effects if you download them from uh, from the internet. So right now they have a different sets. Um, let's say applause, bicycle horn and things like that. So let's say you want to add this to a particular, uh, let's say for example, uh, I want to play with this one and I want to add this one to uh, this particular um, scene. So I just come here, I drag it, and I add it. So every time I play that is in, that's going to play the sound effect as well. And you can start adding those things every on every single scene. You can start adding uh, different sound effects and different microphones and different things. So you can start making your uh, your presentation more engaging that way and if your product requires like sound effects you can download them online uh, from the internet of course and then you can start adding them right here so by just clicking the, the plus sign button you can if you have a uh, specific sound effects or uh, you want to create a group of sound effects to be playable while you're doing a presentation you can do that also another way for you to add sound effects or to um, control a little bit of what the sound effects can do for you, you can just come here to the gear icon and you can add to the scene where you are, where you have selected. Um, and you can add also a hotkey. So you can uh, type the hotkey, maybe J, you can control the volume, how high it'll play, or you can also control the sound effect uh, volume right here. So once you hit on your keyboard the hotkey J, in this case, that's, that's the hotkey I have assigned to that particular sound, is going to play if I'm doing something, in, if I'm presenting a online a product and a something nice or someone leaves a nice comment, you just Say, hey, we have another comment or uh, we received uh, money because we are donating money to some specific uh, charity. So you can do different things for you to keep people engaged while you're presenting. When you are having an interview with someone right here, you can also adjust the interview microphone by doing this. In this occasion, of course, I'm not showing that part uh, until I get to uh, the video where I'm going to explain how the interview panel works but you can also control the volume right here so pretty much that's how you control all the different um, aspects of the audio and microphone and sound effects and uh, inside Ecamm Live the good thing is you have full control not just about the cameras but also the audio the different scenes and the different graphics you're using that's why Ecamm is very popular for that. It's very uh, user friendly, and the more you use it, the more the better you're going to uh, going to be. All right, so I hope this was very helpful. Uh, like I said, every video is going to be explaining in detail different things from Ecamm Live. So if you haven't watched the other videos, I encourage you to do it. So check the links below, and I hope to see you on the next video that we're going to keep explaining things for you to become the better live streamer online that you can be. See you later, bye.